to a couple of my favorite people. All right, so we've actually been texting Mike throughout the show. <laughs> yes. Mike, what's going on over there? Lots we have food. got, we can see what's going on over here. This <laughs> yes. is amazing. First of all, think of your favorite food. Oh my goodness. Now put it in a sausage. And oh that's my what gosh. this gentleman does. <laughs> yes. Adam from Doghouse. Okay, what is in these sausages? Well, these sausages right here, yeah. these are corned beef and cabbage, pepperoni pizza. We'll put anything in a sausage that you could think of. Literally any dish and it can possibly be in a sausage. All right. We will tell you all about that. Also, if spring is in the air, well, not for long, but a lot of people want to spruce up the yard. That's right. Jen. Yes, our, it doesn't quite feel like spring, right, Mike? But we are channeling those spring vibes here at Rainbow Gardens. I have Robin joining me. Now, look at all this color. So beautiful, but she said there's two colors that can help if you add them to your planter to offset all the colors. Tell me what those are. Yes, it is white and yellow. So as you can see, it really brings out that color and you can see it right from the street. Yes, from okay. far away. So good to know, add either white or yellow to your planters. Don't forget that, we've got more tips coming up. All right, and of course, spring break is happening. A lot of fun spring break spring break camps. And Gina Marie from Gina Marie Art Studio is here. And these are not coscaronis, are they? No, they're not. We filled them with paint. Okay. Okay, and this is just one of the classes right. that kids can take. Right. So go. Jackson go. Pollock. Me, me first. Okay. Go. <laughs> fun already. We're going to tell you about some of these art camps for kids and a lot of other great things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, South by Southwest Festival is going on. They had a red carpet up there, and we got to chat with some of the, you like that, didn't you? Some of the celebrities. And what are the shows and movies are they looking forward to? Yes, that, and so that's what we want to know, too. All that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes. All right, one last look at the forecast. We're at 68 right now. We'll be up around 72 this afternoon, up to 80 tomorrow. Some showers early. Then we watch for some storms late tomorrow night. Around midnight into early Friday. Turns windy and much colder on Friday. Be prepared for some wind chills Friday morning. Still pretty cool over the weekend, too. We add in some decent rain chances Sunday and Monday. That keeps temperatures down in the 40s and 50s. It's going to be a chilly stretch until probably Tuesday of next week. All right, Justin, thank you, and thank you so much for watching. That is it for us here on the News at Noon. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Hi, I'm Janine Neighbors from Swarm. I'm Annie Gonzalez. I'm Olivia Scott Welch, and you're watching SA Live. Hi, Bob Odenkirk here. You're watching SA Live. This is really cool that they all said they're watching SA Live. I wonder if they were actually there watching SA Live right now. Oh, maybe. Sure. Maybe online. We're on the interwebs. That's true. <laughs> Hello, happy Wednesday, everybody. And that's right, SA Live was on the red carpet up there at the South by Southwest Festival. Tons of celebrities oh, out there. Oh, rubbing those elbows, yes. <laughs> so you got to watch all week, see who pops up uh -huh. saying hi to us and hi to you. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. All right, well, like we mentioned, South by Southwest is happening. So, you know, lots of shows are premiering there. So we want to know which TV yeah. shows and movies, you know, are you looking forward to that are coming? Because some took maybe a mid-season break, I like know, Yellowstone, so and they now they're going to pop back up again. Right. Ted Lasso, I think, drops mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. The new Yellowstone season, come back? the third season does of Ted uh, Yellowstone in the summertime. Succession, mm -hmm. which is the final uh, season mm -hmm. for that as well. A couple of our favorites. So, yes. what about you? Uh, well, The Last of Us just finished oh, right yeah, yeah. yes so I'm, I'm already looking forward to the next season of that so let us know at sa live case out on facebook and the twitters and you may see your answer later on in the show another one the words when it's 45 mm -hmm. and raining sunday what are you gonna be binge watching so that's yes, so right looking for a little variety at lunchtime well our first guest makes endless flavor combinations of hot dogs and burgers but one item on the menu is extra special this month and adam girdler who is the worst mocker or culinary director for dog house basically <laughs> the sausage king of dog house is here <laughs> with your sausage welcome sir good yes. to see you okay these are not the sausages that we would find at worst Fest, no right? and you're not the first person to make an Abe Froman joke okay? <laughs> I don't think I didn't catch that we've been doing it all morning long yes. good for yes. this. but basically any dish mostly any dish you can make into a sausage yeah well that, that this is the uh, experiment known mm -hmm. as the absolute worst sausage series which we are currently doing for the year 
2023 and maybe beyond at Doghouse. Every month, we're taking a classic food combination, a favorite dish. Think, you know, Nashville hot chicken or sushi or pizza. I'm like saying it in line with the actual promo that I'm watching here too. <laughs> I've seen it. And, and we're gonna make it into a sausage. And the idea is that when you taste the sausage, you close your eyes and you're like, wow, that tastes like fill in blank food here. Oh my okay, God. I didn't realize that when I just saw in there, yeah. you said sushi? Well, that's one of the ones that we'll be endeavoring to do. We'll see if that makes the menu or not. But Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so, right. so we're doing a little companion show called How the Sausage is Made, which is on YouTube, and you can see the successes and the failures there. So okay. not to te not to tease anything, but hey, you're so, going to make yourself a dog? Yes. Yes, and what are we making? Because this is the one okay. for this month, Grab yourself right? a boat, right? Okay, get a so, boat. Okay, so this is the corned beef and cabbage sausage. So we took all the flavors of corned beef, which is basically pickling spice and, and, and salt and garlic, and mixed it with beef. So you're going to go with some cheese in there. Okay, this you is got the, your toasted this bun. This is the worst way to make it, right? Okay, you're going to go worst way? I'm okay, going then. worst way. All right, okay. great. And you're going to add your corned beef and cabbage sausage. So all this right. is available all March. You can get it the worst way, which is what you're doing now, some of that grilled kraut. You could also get it sliced on its own as a corn dog. It makes an incredible breakfast burrito. The breakfast oh, way is very that great. That is good. Um, and now you could go, uh, well, this is secret sauce here if you want to do a little bit okay, of that. And, and that, that's brown mustard. I'm going to go brown mustard. See, now you're having it your way and that's ah. that's part of the fun too so you can have it the worst way w-u-r-s-t not o-r-s-t uh -huh. or you can have it your way so whatever you like on it um you know however you like a corned beef sandwich that's how kind of i wanted you to enjoy that and that again is available for the month of march you know saint patrick's day happens during march mm -hmm. a lot of people enjoy corned beef and cabbage on that day and um i'm oh yeah you, look you've got the jig he's, he's got a he's jig. got the little bit of a jig oh, that that's means very he loves appropriate it. for an irish yeah. holiday yes exactly Exactly. <laughs> I know you okay. meant to do that. And so, of course, it's it's here for the month, right? Yes, and then, the month or till it's sold out. Right. So okay. if you go to the store, if you go to Doghouse, we have a couple locally mm -hmm. uh, in Stone Oak mm -hmm. and Bandera Oak, um, and you ask for it, uh, maybe call ahead because we made a very limited amount because, like I said, we're only doing an absolute worst sausage every month, and in April we have a new sausage. What is the April? April is my birthday month. Mm -hmm. We got pepperoni pizza. I have it sliced over here. So think an Italian sausage with pepperoni, with mozzarella cheese, tomato, oregano, all in there. When you close your eyes and you take a bite, you will be like, why is pizza in a sausage? And it is phenomenal. phenomenal. Right. Yeah. You know, even down to kind of like what you said, where it's, you know, the cheese perfectly cooked. Yes, right? yeah, exactly. So the way when we mix yeah. like cheese into a sausage, the cheese is like everything in the sausage mixer has got to be extremely cold. And that's how you get that great bouncy texture in a sausage, but where cheese applies to it so that when it comes off the grill, I want you to get like yeah. those pockets of melted cheese, not just like cheese that is mixed into a one texture. We like when there is like, you know, you get the pepperoni and that has a little bit of chew and then you bite the tomato and that of course has got all that moisture and it is just a great experience. We serve everything on grilled King's Hawaiian bread as well. How, what's the, the process like? So you just come up and go, hey, I love a Reuben sandwich. Let's stick it in a, in a sausage. Yes. Let's but, try to make it a sausage. But you, you don't go full batch all at once. No, no, no. So, I, so what we do, and like, as I mentioned, we yeah. have that show, how the sausage is made. You can see we have an idea. We'll go out. We'll eat corned beef and cabbage at a restaurant and be like, this is what we like about it. How do we put it into a sausage? Then we go to the test kitchen, which is my house. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, and, um, and you know, I'll just start with a small batch and you come up with an idea. You have to write everything down because if it doesn't work or if it does work, you have to know what you did. A lot of times it's just balancing out the moisture of certain ingredients. If they contain a certain amount of water, you don't want the sausage to break or be crumbly. You want to get the texture, but you also want to taste all these new ingredients. And real quick before we go, also gives back, right? Yes, of course. So when you get to try any of these sausages, you'll also be giving one dollar directly to No Kid Hungry, our charity partner at Doghouse. We uh, think childhood hunger is the most unimaginable thing. It's hard for me to even talk about. I'm a new father. Uh, and so, you know, we give back and you can give back and taste something delicious, which is great. And there's a special for St. Oh, Patrick's Day. Oh, right? yes. For, so if you come on St. Patrick's Day, we're going to have the green beer. We're going to have the Jameson shots, the pickleback shots. So you can have your corned beef and cabbage sausage and some green beer in a inauthentically authentic, 
Irish St. Patrick's Day experience. And then on top of that, all of the other yeah. regular, if you will, sausages, burgers, everything else there. So oh, check yeah. it out. 2009-07 Stone Oak Parkway or on Quincy Lee Drive. And, of course, more corned beef and cabbage sausage for a little time at the doghouse. Buck goes to No Kid Hungry. Yes. All right. Okay. For, uh, the weather this week, of course, may be all over the place. What? I'm yes, looking at you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All right, but many people are ready to add some color to their patios and yards for spring, which kicks off next week. Do it today if you're going to be doing it. And Rainbow Gardens Nursery on the northwest side is such a great place to get your garden and gear this spring. And Jen Strusky is there live. Good afternoon, Jen. Hi, Mike. Yes, we're not blaming you, Mike, but what's going on with the weather? Okay, <laughs> that's what we want to know. But yes, like you said, today is a good day. Good to know. We're here at Rainbow Gardens. I have Robin Norton Caronco joining me. Hi there. Hey, Robin. <laughs> Always good to have you on the show because you have so many great tips for us. Now, we'll start with some different kinds of planters that you have here. So, we, uh, this planter uh, is a, uh, an outdoor planter. Tall is our thriller. Mounding is our filler, and then spilling over is our spiller. So those are the two, the three things that you want to think about is a thriller, filler, and spiller. Uh, this one is mosquito uh, repellent themed. So I've got the tall things in back, the shorter things in front. I noticed you left some room, right? Because you I know they're going to grow. Yes, so these yes. are all going to grow. Mm -hmm. So you need to check uh, the the mature height of all of your plants, so that way you'll know uh, as they grow out. Uh, that to leave room for that. Um, this one is uh, St. Patrick's Day themed. I've got some <laughs> little oxalis in there, Cute. which are little clovers. And then this one I themed for uh, pollinators. This is all host plants for different butterfly caterpillars. I have my milkweed, uh, parsley, frog fruit, and in sea oats here in the back that'll stick up really nicely at the A end. A great way to bring those butterflies right into Absolutely. your yard. Absolutely. And then you have one more there on the bottom. Tell me oh, about yes, them. and that one is a shade planter. Uh, it's got impatiens, which uh, will bloom in the shade, which is very, very nice. Yes, nice for those patios, right? Yes. That, um, some areas that you want to add some color maybe, but you don't get a lot of sun. Okay. Absolutely. So we, we're going to stick to that formula you mentioned. Yes. Filler, spiller, and filler. So we have these three gorgeous plants you picked out. So where should we start with this one? We should put him toward the back. Okay. That is our bougainvillea. He's going to be our thriller. Okay. Woo. There we go. <laughs> and he's in there. there All right. And then we've got so our pretty. spiller. No problem. Yep. Spiller is here, right? Or we can do our filler our next. Filler I'm sorry. Next. Okay. Yes. And I love these colors. And that's the yes. fun thing right now. You said you guys every day you're getting a truck load, at least five right? trucks every okay. day. This is our busy season. We appreciate people being patient with us. We are getting these plants out as fast as we can. Okay. And there's your go. spiller. I appreciate your help, Robin. No worries. <laughs> and yes. Yes. We would do a better job on this, but <laughs> just to kind of give you a good idea. And you mentioned yes. adding white or yellow to a planter will help offset all the colors, right? Yes, mm -hmm. and it, it makes it stand out even more. Okay, and we have an example here of all other thrillers, spillers, and fillers. Obviously, a huge selection here, even some behind us. Uh, this yes. is my happy place, y'all. <laughs> all the color, it just makes me so happy. But soil is important, right? Yes, soil is the foundation of your planters. So you wanna make sure it says potting soil. Potting soil has everything you need for pots. So be sure to get potting soil for your pots. And then you'll also want to fertilize. You can uh, use organic or uh, a synthetic fertilizer, time released. But read the directions and make sure you fertilize. You'll get some beautiful blooms that way. And, and it's so simple as that. Just read the directions, right? Now, yes. if you want a hanging planter, yes. these are nice too. This is a cocoa liner, and this helps kind of keep in the moisture um, because uh, since it's hanging, you know, it loses a lot of moisture. So the cocoa liner help, will help retain that moisture and keep your plant healthier longer. Good. No, and you can get those here as well. And you yes. have a bunch of classes coming up this yes. Friday. Which one do you have? Um, this Friday we're doing backyard composting. Nice. Um, and then we've got a bunch of others on our website. Please visit our website at uh, rainbowgardens.biz. Okay. Uh, lots of classes and events and um, lots and lots of plants. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, mon so many, uh, you mentioned they're smaller right now, but as spring goes on, yes. you'll get some bigger yes. right selections. Absolutely. Okay. At the beginning of the, the season, they are going to be smaller 
because they've just been started. So yes. there's just little little baby plants. Yes. Uh, but I always like to take advantage of this time of year because you can get some great plants in small containers. There you go. I think I'm going to do some shopping. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Robin. Thank you. And for more information, you can head to salive.com. Click the As Seen on SA Live tab or scan a QR code we'll provide for you. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. <laughs> now, Thanks, Jen, man. just take all of that knowledge you learned and you can come practice at my house. <laughs> uh, 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 look, this one's going to your house, Mike. There you go. Perfect. We'll start with this one. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Just for you. Still ahead on SA Live, spring break is in full swing and looking for a place for your pint-sized Picasso to play where your kids can still enjoy a fun spring break art camp or even a summer camp. But first, the Academy Awards are the only star-studded event this weekend. Slugs are off for South by Southwest. See who we caught on the red carpet and some of the TV show premiere that they're getting us ready for. That is next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, last year it was named one of the best summer camps in South Texas, so it's no doubt they are a must try for summer camps coming up. We we're going to talk about spring mm -hmm. break, but too popular. Yeah, too popular. Too popular. Yes. Popular. Gina popular. Reese, owner of Gina Marie's Hi. Art Studio, or Fun Art Studio, yes, is here with some fun for your pint sized Picasso or or not so pint sized like us. Yes. yes. <laughs> Kids are out of school, so they might need something to do, right? And this is fun because it gets your hands in mm -hmm. there and it gets kind of messy yes. and all it's that like good stuff. Yes, it's sensory art. Okay. So it's going to do everything for us. So this is just flour, mm -hmm. so things that you have at home, and mm -hmm. you're going to pour the baby oil into the middle. Just, just right here. Okay. okay. And then you're going to manipulate it and mix it all in. Okay. So people call it moon sand is what they call it. So it ends up being like a beach sand. So it's going to hold its form and it's going to be great for manipulatives like okay. little dinos, things like that could go in it, right? He could go in it. Well, this oh, is, this is right? kind of relaxing. I'm telling you, okay. So squish it together squish it. and it yep. will start holding its shape. I have some. Okay. okay. Eh, kind of getting there. Yeah. So look, so it will actually be just like you're at the beach, right? Oh, so it's going to so hold its shape. Oh, look at yeah. that right there. Hold yeah, shape. hold it right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, here we go. Like that. There. Okay. You could put it in molds, have a little dino time, do some excavation, beach sand toys. The kids will love it. Super messy, super fun. Right? And, and perfect, I mean, to I mean, you know, sit outside under oh, yeah. a tree or something like that, this is great to do. Oh yeah, this, okay. is, this is an hour of fun for a kid. I love right? that, oh. so with just right? some baby oil into it the is. flour, okay. It is. I just put mine with a lid on it and it'll save too, so you can oh. pull it back out later, use it later. That's okay. a fantastic idea, right? even to get one of those, those larger like under the bed type storage boxes if you want to have like a... A, a full a big on one beach, yeah. right? The full beach. Oh, yeah. very, very he's good already idea, planning so. what he's going to do later. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. Now, what okay. next? Okay. So this one's oobleck. Okay. And oobleck is a non-Newtonian fluid. So basically, that means that I brought you things to stir with. Okay. Because it's kind of hard to stir. So it means oh, that it, it it can be a solid or it can be a liquid. Oh wow. Yeah. So okay. kind of hard. Yeah. Kind of hard. But then if you actually end up touching it, once that you get it mixed up a little bit. Uh-huh. Okay. So when you press really hard, it's hard, right? Like a solid. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Right? Oh, it, wow. Look flows. at that. But then look at when it, you let go of it, it's a liquid. Oh, so it can be a solid wow. or a liquid. What's wow. this made out of? This look is cornstarch. Cornstarch and water. So simple, right? Things that you have at home. Wow. Easy look, peasy. Yes, oh, look at that. Do you see that? that? Great? Look at, you, it piles up in the corner just like yes. that, and then yeah. it just yeah. goes away. So think like a colander with your kids. Uh -huh. Like they really, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. They want to oh, play with it. It's gonna, you let yeah. go, and it's going to go through the colander. It's going to go through your fingers. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, oobleck. It's called oobleck. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was non Newtonian. Non Newtonian. Non Newtonian. Fluid. Mm. Solid or a liquid. Can do there's, like there's, the, yes. there's the trivia word for the day. Not yes. Newtonian. Non -Newtonian. So, all right. Newtonian. Okay. Painting is also a lot of fun mm -hmm. and not just with a brush and canvas, right? But a little Jackson Pollock art. Okay. Right? right? Okay. So, so what we have going on here? Yes. And so this is this is So mm -hmm. one of our camps is uh -huh. potion, slime, and splatter. And mm -hmm. so we do it kind of looks like this. So it we 
actually take our eggs and we throw it at the canvas. Okay. Let it dry and it goes home with you. It's beautiful art for the wall. Okay, here we go. Mike. You throw it hard. Woo! Good job. Yee, this is fun. Right? <laughs> These. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. a lot of these spring break camps are full up, you said, but you have room for summer camps. So what ages also? Mm -hmm. So the camps are usually five and up, but we have a little bit of everything. We have the Potion Slime and Splatter. We have Kitty Camp. We have Jedi Academy. We have... We have oh. Keep Your TV Hosts Occupied. <laughs> yes. yes. Everything messy that you don't want to do at home that you might want to go someplace else and do. Oh, right? fantastic. Super fun. All right. If you would like more information on Gina Marie's art studio, go to our website, salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live yes. tab. Gina, thank, thank you, you thank very you. much. Thank you. All right, next on SA Live, wine lovers. Well, I mean, if you're a wine lover, you never need an excuse to open up a bottle, but check out this recipe that goes great with some vino and find out the secret ingredient that cuts down on lots of time in the kitchen. And I don't know if these guys are drinking wine or not, but oh. they're having a lot of fun. We're gonna tell you about that with some local gamers as well. Welcome back to SA Live. It's a place where gamers can play together, whether online or even bring the action alive. Awaken Arena is a one-of-a-kind entertainment spot on the Far East Side. We wanted to learn more about what's there and how they're trying to build a community. Our Jen Biostrowski went to find out and work on her target practice yeah. as well. <laughs> Awaken Arena is the newest hotspot known for their indoor airsoft, archery tag, and gaming too. Joining me now is Samuel Lynn, the GM here at Awaken Arena. Hello, thanks for having me. Yeah, my pleasure, Jen. All right, well, we're getting ready here. We're, e we're in the archery zone where archery tag happens. Tell me how it works. So we run numerous game modes. Uh, we run Fat Princess, your normal team elimination, different game modes. So every time you come to this field, it's a different flavor of play. All right, I'm gonna hand this over to you. You, yep. me you mentioned there's 10 different games people can can play, and yep. then you're gonna show me how this works. Okay. So you would just do it like a normal boat. You would line it right here, let it rest. Make sure this is right in between. And then you would basically string it like this, and then you would try to aim oh. for it right here. So you would go like, Right this, right there, right there. Oh, wow. And I can see that they are wearing, you know, protection and you have masks available. So if the kids are out here, you know, clearly they'll be safe. But I'm gonna give this a try now. And this is, would you say one of the popular, like what age group? Is this all ages really? So this is basically all ages. Usually you would have like uh, eight year olds <laughs> to, I mean, six year olds to basically <laughs> 10 year olds. <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry. laughs> it's all good. Uh, you have six year olds to ten year olds play this, so it's definitely for all ages. Okay, and obviously it's a good time. <laughs> okay, yep. so I can see why they like this. So all ages, again, you, you guys, what they come and you get them all set up with their gear. But this is not the biggest draw. The airsoft is, yes, right? Is. People come from all over right here. Yes, it is. Can we go check out that course? For sure. All right, let's go. Okay, we're here in the airsoft field. Samuel, tell me, how big is this arena here? So our, our indoor CQB arena is 30,000 square feet. It is the second biggest in Texas and the biggest in San Antonio. Wow, and you have geared me up here with some of the rental gear, and you also have somebody that, this is what you get, right, when you come and you check out some gear. Yeah, so only for $15, you get all three. You would get full face protection, a chest rig, and an electric gun with a high cap magazine. And for those who aren't aware of how the game works, uh, it's similar to paintball, but what's the difference? Uh, basically, instead of shooting paintballs, you're shooting plastic BBs. So it's basically plastic pellets. Uh, we only go between 0.2 grams and 0.25 grams. Okay, and then somebody maybe wants to bring their own gear. We have an example of that here. Yep, so this is what a higher end mass, about $300. He has his own preferred chest rig, and then he also has an HPA line instead of the electric gun that comes with the rental. Okay, perfect. Now they are gonna go play the game. Have fun for me, guys. And while they do that, let's talk about how it works. If someone wants to come, what is, uh, how does it all work in the website? 
So you would just get equipped with your rental gear. You would just come out here and play. We do five minute intervals between each game. We run about like 15 different game modes. It would include team elimination, capture the flag, defuse the bomb, and we run VIP. So every game mode is different. We usually run about 30 games a day. Uh -huh. And it's definitely a fun time when you come here, especially with kids and adults. And military especially, right? Yes. Wounded we, Warriors? Is yes, we do a thing with Wounded Warrior Project. So so we have them come out every two times a month and then they have they bring veterans and everything so we give them free rentals we get them hooked up with everything they need all right again only been open for about six months and already thriving yep. right would you say yep, yep for sure <laughs> perfect all right you can follow them on social media but i'm gonna go check out the gaming room now thank you samuel once you're done with your airsoft play you can come and enjoy 25 different pcs of gaming plus this gaming as well. There's also a virtual reality room. Tournaments happen often in here, so be sure to follow them on social media. We have all the information on SALive.com. Click the As Seen on SALive tab or scan the QR code on your screen. <laughs> oh, well, that looks Ooh. like way too much fun, okay? And Awaken Arena hosts events every month. Be sure to follow them on all the socials if you'd like to give it a try. All right, coming up on SA Live, who needs the Academy Awards? We've got the South by Southwest Festival, a ton of celebrities up there, and we're going to see what shows they're getting ready for. Stick around. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's when Hollywood comes to shine in the Lone Star State, the South by Southwest Conference and Festivals, going on right now and yet again we keep waiting for Hollywood to come knocking on. I know they never we're, do we're here <laughs> we're just about an hour south of y'all of course there's Hollywood knocking it kicked <laughs> off this past weekend and the SA live team was there on the red carpet to chat with some of the stars and producers behind a thriller that's coming out this Friday check it out I'm John with SA live yes. um, so in creating the show was there certain people real life, not real life, that kind of give inspiration to these characters that you created? Yeah, we were, we researched this show for like six, six and a half months before we wrote it. Um, so we found all, all I would say 99% of it online. <laughs> Obviously there are some things that have been exaggerated for TV, but it's not a work of fiction, you know, it's a well-researched project. And we just put uh, a black woman in the center of these stories. Uh, so this is Texas. We're from San Antonio. Is there was there any connections to uh, Selena and her story at all that maybe lent inspiration to this? Yeah, it's interesting. I was just talking about that. I I love Selena. She was one of my favorite artists. I remember when she died. I remember seeing her at the rodeo before she passed away. I think that there is something very. Um, very kind of unsettled, obviously unsettling, but something that just feels like people can't stop thinking about it, right? Um, and I think that there, I hope that this will, this story will be something that people can't stop thinking about as well. What do you want uh, fans to kind of take away from this show? Is there, is there kind of a, a point that you want them to learn or a lesson you want them to learn or just entertainment? Well, I think or? we want them to have their own opinion. I think, you know, we don't want to like project any meaning or thought onto it. You know, I think we want people to kind of walk away and, and start a conversation and feel like they saw something that they haven't seen before on TV, which is really the goal here. I think what I would want fans to take away from the show is uh, everybody's just figuring it, figuring it out, and we don't know what's going on in um, people's homes. And so, while social media, I, I I love it because you get opportunity to connect with people across the world and the people that you do admire, and you don't always get that. But there's also that other side where it can be it can be scary, or it can give you anxiety, or it can really have a, a hold on your mental health. And so, um, we see in the show that Dre experiences that that cyber bullying and I hope that people take away that we're all people are just trying to figure it out maybe we could be a little nicer to each other. Hi. John with SA Live. Hi. So uh, this is your first time at South by? No this is I think my second or third time. So if this show becomes super popular are you worried about getting kind of swarm fans? You know no because I I'm a part of a lot of fandoms myself and it, this is a more exaggerated way of explaining 
the story of a black female serial killer. And it's different for us because you always see it being told through the lens of you know, white men and white women, and we never get the chance to. And I'm just so proud of my girl Dom because she did an incredible job. We, I heard a comparison with Selena earlier. Was there inspiration or did you draw on anybody for the characters, that, you know? Yeah, for my character Marissa, the inspiration I drew from was myself and, and traumas I haven't healed from. And it was healing, acting it out, yeah. Uh, was it therapeutic for you, or was it kind of was it hard? It was absolutely therapeutic. I remember after one scene, Dom and I shot, we just were in the dark room crying for 30 minutes after we were finished filming because it shook us so heavy to the core. And when you allow yourself to feel what you continue to bury inside, it's very healing when you finally do let it out, so. I promise. I like her sister better. She seems more like, you know, spiritual. Well, we've got more from the South by Southwest red carpet tomorrow, including a chat with uh, actor Bob Odenkirk. Oh yeah, and you might remember him from the TV shows Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. He talks about his newest show that's about to premiere. You don't want to miss this tomorrow, 1 p.m. on SA Live. Coming up. Hey, SA Live, Chris Kopp from Coleman Cellars, today with Molly Richardson, our awesome tasting room manager. Stay tuned, we've got a special weeknight meal that's super easy to prepare. It's a little Mahi Mahi Veracruz. One dish wonder and a secret ingredient that makes it no time at all. That's right, stay tuned, we'll be right back. It's your girl Chloe Bailey and you are watching SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, you know, time to start freshening up the dinner menu. That's right. Our friends at Coleman Cellars have a delicious mahi mahi recipe that's easy to make and also goes great with a glass of wine. And they even have a great hack that will save you time. Hey, SA Live. Chris Cobb, co founder of Coleman Cellars, here with our latest episode of Coleman in the Kitchen. I'm joined today by our awesome tasting room manager, Molly Richardson. And uh, Molly, what are we going to have today? So we are having a Mahi Mahi Vera Cruz today, which I'm really excited about because I don't cook fish a lot, so I'm hoping to learn some tips and tricks. <laughs> this is a great weeknight dish because we're gonna do everything in one pot. We're gonna layer a bunch of flavors, but it's super easy and even better. We've got a hack that makes it even faster to prepare. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cook a medium a yellow onion that we've just kind of finely diced. Don't want to cook it too long. We're really just looking to get it nice and softened. So when you say we're building the layers, we're just adding ingredient cooking, adding ingredient cooking, kind of letting it all build together. That's exactly correct. Uh, about four cloves of uh, chopped garlic. Gotta have garlic. Gotta have garlic. You can really smell the intensity as like, you know, onions to garlic. It what is. comes next? We're gonna do uh, about a tablespoon of capers. Okay. The capers are really salty. And then my favorite favorite, some sliced Kalamata olives. Salty again. And actually, this is why the pairing with this dish is wonderful. Nice, dry, white, acidic wine, that acid with the salt combination. It is a perfect, perfect balance. Flavor smells so incredible. It's time for us to add a little bit of wine. What wine are we going to add? So we are using our Estate Roussan in this, in this dish. Uh, really nice, bright, acidic, has some great, great flavors. And how much are we putting in? Gonna be at about a quarter cup of, of okay. dry white wine. Okay. Added straight into the bowl. And I'm just gonna eyeball it? Yes, that's correct. Usually ends up with too much wine. Oh, we got wine in the glass. Perfect, <laughs> thank you. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Mmm. Now tell me again, what, what wine is this one? This is our Estate Roussan. Now when you see Estate on a bottle of wine, it's a wine that never left home. So we have five varietals that we grow right here at our property in Stonewall. And we grow the, the fruit here, the fruit is made into wine here, and then we share it with you when you come to see us. It's, it's about as local as you can get. It's very local. It's true expression of this spot right here on Earth. Oh, 
Can you already yeah, smell it? Yeah, I can smell it. It smells so good. And now it's time for the hot we're, we're that we make this so part. super easy. <laughs> Look, you can dice a bunch of tomatoes, and you can dice peppers and all these other ingredients, but you know what? Why don't we just use salsa? This is medium. Okay. We don't want something super spicy. Easy, simple. Wow, and there's the sauce already. And there's the sauce. Now are we bringing this to a boil again? We're gonna bring this to a boil, okay. correct. We're gonna use mahi-mahi. Uh, okay. Secret on this, no skin. Have your fishmonger, remove the skin, remove the pin bones. Okay, so you're just kind of nestling that down in there. We're gonna braise it for about four minutes covered and the fish is just going to absorb all of that flavor as it's just kind of gently cooking. Tell me more, what's going on at the estate these days? Waiting for our vines to wake up. We're just a few weeks out from bud break and we have uh, little baby wildflowers everywhere. We're hoping the blue bonnets will be great this year. But I think one of the most exciting things happening in March is that we're gonna be releasing our very first estate Morved, which is Long awaited, it is absolutely delicious. And we're gonna do this as part of our um, estate celebration and our blessing of the vines. You're gonna taste five wines that were grown right here on the estate, but you're actually gonna walk among the vineyard and go taste the wine next to the vines that actually grew and produced the grapes. Yeah. So come on out, make plans. See the website for more information. Okay, it's been about four minutes. And again, you can already see we've got a nice yeah. cook started on this, but we're gonna braise it for about another four minutes uncovered. Okay. Again, what we wanna do is we wanna boil off some of the liquid, concentrate the flavors down. You can already see it thickening up already and it smells so good. It smells so good. <laughs> All right, it's been about another four minutes. We don't wanna overcook because that'll make the fish tough. Okay. The final uh, little add, a little bit of dried uh, oregano. This is about a teaspoon of dried oregano. Okay, we're serving this over white rice, veggies. These are, um, this is zucchini and squash. Gently pull it out, use a little slotted. Um, oh, wow. Now look at that. That looks amazing. It's amazing. And we're just gonna kind of spoon oh my gosh. that over the top. I happen to like a lot of salsa, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna add just a little bit you more. Give the rice something to seep up. Some fresh avocado. <laughs> so y'all look, <clears throat> here's our dish. Brilliant weeknight mahi-mahi Veracruz. Oh man, you can smell it. Oh, it's so good. You're gonna go with the avocado, perfect? Oh yeah, I gotta get some avocado. Oh mm. my, that is wonderful. Ooh, that is really nice. Cheers to us. Hey, SA Live, have a great day. Give this a try. The recipe's on the website. Come see us at the estate. Next on SA Live, well, is the weather keeping you out of the pool where you can find this huge indoor water park and what else they have to keep the whole family entertained all the way to summer? You don't want to miss this. It's a one-stop destination for spring break fun all under one roof. And it's just a short drive away in Round Rock. And here to tell you what's waiting for you at Kalahari Resorts and Convention is spokesperson Brandon Wise. Welcome. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so happy to chat with you. This is a fun destination. My kids love it there, by the way. You have a little something for everyone. So what makes it such a great destination for spring break? Well, you nailed it. We have something for everyone. We're just a short drive up the road. It's all under one roof. From America's largest indoor water park, to Tom Foolery's Adventure Park, which is an indoor theme park experience, four on-site signature restaurants, a luxurious full-service spa, it's all here. Okay, you mentioned some of them there, but what are some of the activities that families can enjoy there? Sure, the most popular areas are gonna be the water park, which features a zero vision wave pool experience, Lazy River, a surf simulator called Flow Rider, and then we can move into Tom Fullery's Adventure Park from there, which has VR games, bowling, mini golf, rock climbing, all sorts of fun activities. And what's new at Kalahari? Well, in Tom Fooleries, we feature rides for all kinds of ages, but we're excited to have just launched our new GeForce One ride. Okay, so this is the newest ride people can try for spring break. Absolutely, it'll spin you all kinds of directions and upside down. And then if a couple wants to make a trip out there, what do they have available for couples? Sure, if we can sneak away from all the activities, we've got the four signature restaurants which make for a great date night, as well as our Red's Piano Bar, which is kind of a speakeasy. You've got to walk in through a secret door and experience some fun signature cocktails and live entertainment. Nice, and then the theme there, it's really fun. I know sometimes, even for the first time when we walked in, we're blown away, but I love that it's African themed. Can you tell me more about that? 
Absolutely. We're a family owned company by the Nelson family and they visited Africa back in 2019 and fell in love with the art that they saw. They made a $600,000 investment and brought a thousand pieces of authentic African hand sculpted art to the property. Wow. Amazing. It is beautiful. And then uh, how can people learn more if they do want to plan their trip for spring break? How do they go about doing all that? Sure. Whether they want to stay overnight or just book a day pass, we can get all of that at visit kalahariresorts.com. All right. And as you mentioned, day passes are available too, right? Absolutely. For either Tom Fooleries, the spa or the water park. Good to know. All right. Again, just a short drive away too from San Antonio. Thank you so much. Again, make those memories this spring break. Book your stay at Kalahari Resorts and Convention. You can book online at kalahariresorts.com slash Texas or give them a call 1-877-525-2427. Thank you, Brandon. Of course. Thank you. You, what movie or TV show are you looking oh. forward to that's coming up? Mia says the new Hunger Games movie. And speaking of celebrities and shows and all that stuff, don't forget tomorrow more with uh, Bob Odenkirk and other celebrities from South by Southwest Festival. That's right. Hollywood's right there. They're so close. They're going to be here any minute to get us. <laughs> I can feel it.